Um, <clears throat> I'm an architect. Um. <laughs> Excellent. I spent my whole life studying architects, so very good to have you here. I thought there was perhaps a contradiction um, at the heart of your talk, because yeah. all of your good examples were designed by architects that were named, like Eero Saarinen and Leonard Benasse and Norman Foster. Uh, your bad examples were mostly anonymous. I wonder if they were designed by historians. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very, very good. Well, of course, yeah, I mean, that's very much the point that I, that I, did, that I did make. I mean, you know, um, the, the, thing, the, the, the thing against my argument is that, and I'm sure that, that you, like me, you know, just roll your eyes at something like that. I mean, I suspect that was, that might have probably designed by a sort of surveyor. It was probably, you know, off the back. I mean, it, it, terrible. If a decent architect had got hold of that, you know, it could have been a very good building, either in the, um, uh, the ilk of that or in the ilk of that. And I kind of don't mind which way it goes, but what you don't want um, is, th is that. So um, I think you're quite right, and architects obviously are, are really important about in, in this process. And actually, I do think that uh, although um, for the uh, sake of effect in my lecture, um, I you know, took two quite sort of po polarized positions, many, many architects now would feel very happy, maybe including you, for being involved in designing a building like that and would not see it as a complete betrayal of their, um, of their uh, uh, training. And would you be happy to build that? Yes. Yeah, well, there we are. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Very good.